Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And in this video, I'm gonna be processing an order that I got from Discord that I haven't had a chance to just because I've been so busy. But today's Friday, it's the weekend now, even though I have more work to do on the weekends. Anyways, I'm gonna be uh, processing this order with you guys. And if you guys aren't, aren't checking out the Discord fams, you're missing out. I recently created this Discord, the, the TCG market, where I'll be posting and other sellers will be posting as well, cards. And I'm posting most of my cards at 15% off market price because when I get a good deal out of it, I'm gonna have to be paying TCG player that 15, 12 to 15% fee anyway. So I'm like, I'll just pass that on to you guys as a saving and I can still make a little bit of money. We can all win, be happy. That's the point of this Discord. So check it out if you haven't. So we're gonna take a look at this Discord order that I'm gonna process and I'm gonna explain and talk about how Pokemon card manipulation happens. How, <laughs> how come some of these cards shoot up crazy? It sometimes feels very sketchy. It is. <laughs> Buyouts um, contribute to it, but is it strategical? Is it organized? We're gonna cover some of that. Um, yeah, let's get into it. Okay, guys, so uh, this person reached out to me on my Discord. I recently posted um, all the reverses and hollows from 151. I had a binder, a master set binder that I uh, posted all the pages. Well, I haven't finished all of it, but most of them. And they reached out to me and they're like, hey, I need these reverses from 151. Do you have them? And I'm like, hey, I have thousands of reverses probably. So I'm going to be um, going over that. Now, before we get to the main topic at hand about card manipulation, we're going to I'm going to go over some updates that that have been happening uh, with me on my channel. <laughs> now, I'm going to try to do both of these things at the same time. Um, talking in in this here, which will be <laughs> interesting to say the least. OK. So I was actually not planning to um, do this video that you're seeing today because I have a lot that um, that made it to me that's on my that's in my PO box. But <laughs> I work a nine to five, so I haven't been able to um, get out there. Do we need Sparrow? We don't need Sparrow. So I haven't been able to get out there to my PO box. Um, that's why I haven't been, that's why we're not seeing the, the lot right now. Um, but I'm going to be, I'm going out there and hopefully releasing that video tomorrow of this lot. But yeah, I've been so busy lately sending out orders and, um, transitioning from doing this full time to being more strategical. What I'm going to do now is focus more on the higher end cards. And hopefully I can find some of these. Oh, actually we needed uh, Pidgey. We haven't gone to Pidgey, right? Sparrow, Sparrow, Radicate. Okay. So we need Pidgey. Yeah, so I've been um, dealing with this transition, but once this has uh, passed the transition period, it should slow down for me because right now I'm doing two jobs. I actually need to go to another side gig. Right now it's eight at my time. So I'll be finishing up with that side gig past mid <laughs> midnight, <laughs> past midnight. So there I have a lot, a lot on my plate, but I'm here creating this video, talking to you guys. Pidgey, Pidgey art. Hmm. Yeah, we need this one. Found one. <laughs> so this does take a, uh, some time. That's why I haven't done it so far. And I've just been busy with other things. Okay. So getting to the topic at hand before I <laughs> get too distracted with this. Um, why, what's going on with the marketplace? And I was actually also not going to be doing this, uh, talking about this, but like I was just saying, I needed to, um, I needed to come up with something on the spot since I wasn't going to um, be releasing my video of the lots today. And you know, 
the reason that I'm decided to talk about this today is because I saw an article um, detailing this, which I found it fascinating, and I wanted to share with you guys. Which one was this one? Jigglypuff. Oh, that's right. We just put the one that we needed away. <laughs> All right, so I'll make sure to not do that. As you guys can see, these are um, organized by name, so I'm going to try to keep this as organized as possible, but... <laughs> trying to do all this at the same time is not easy maybe i should have uh, overlaid this and recorded it separately it doesn't matter it's more natural this way you guys can see <laughs> you see me struggle <laughs> so i'm pretty sure these are all reverses the fam is looking for because this list doesn't say reverse or hollows but i said i had a bunch of reverses i had three thousand so chancy they're looking for three chancies Bam. If you guys are looking for 151 reverses, let me know. Look, I have a lot. <laughs> and these, some of these have good value, so it could make a big difference doing the 15%, right? All right, Chansey. Okay, so I saw an article today, and this didn't really relate to TCG Player, um, but it related to the European version of it. European version of TCG Player, so the more established um, buy and selling right um, website out there is called Card Markets. Awesome. Okay. Ooh, do I need Snorlax? Snorlax. I need three of them. One, two, three. Perfect. I still have some Snorlax. Snorlax is really, really popular. I think that has really good value as well. What I'm going to do is once I pull these out, because they asked me if I had these. Um, once I pull these out from my inventory, I'm going to then price check it. And how I'm going to price check it is just put them all in the TCG Player app. So that way I can send them pictures as well. It's all transparent. They can see everything. All right, Snorlax. We found some. Look at this, fams. We're making progress. Um, <laughs> Multi-triple tasking. Showing you guys this, processing this, talking about this. <laughs> All right, fams. Remember, drop the like if you guys appreciate all this effort. Okay, so what's happening at Card Market? Well, I'm going to show you guys this article. I have it printed out here next to me as well so that um, I can try to remember all the info. Do we need far fetched? Uh, no. Okay. So this card, mar card market, again, this is the equivalent of TCG Player out in Europe and what's happened is that the title was car market sues vendor for uh, market manipulation and this is something that I've thought about as well myself how this comes about that people are able to manipulate the market by the way <laughs> this is all entertainment purposes right I'm not out here advocating anyone do any of these things but I've, I've always thought about it, and in my opinion, uh, based on everything that I know, being a seller, um, buyer, seeing the system, the ins and outs of it, in my opinion, if you're wanting to do something like this successfully, which is raise the price of a card, um, which in result would equate to like a, a buyout, whether it be real or, or fake, um, you would need a buyout for something like that, and you would need to have connection with a buyer. So that is something that I've always thought. I was like, how does this happen? Well, I'm like, okay, it's some there has to be a buyer in, I mean, a seller. <laughs> Sorry. So there has to be a seller in the mix of this. If it's, um, if it's a, a, someone's trying to do it for sketchy reasons or naturally, I think well naturally you don't need to have sellers be involved but I think if you're do, if you're trying to do this artificially trying to pump up the price of a card I think in my personal opinion you have to have a seller involved in it and I always thought that um the whoever's trying to pump up the price artificially would have to actually buy the cards out the lower um the lowest listing ones but this new story that I'm I came across opened my eyes to a different method and I want to go over that and explain so what I just went through is my hypothesis of how 
I thought would happen um, to be able to inflate a card price. But now I'm going to go over the article and what they're saying that these people have done. Ditto. I need three of them. Perfect. We can cross that one off. That one also has good value. I wonder how much it will be in, in reverses. Some of these are like dollar, dollar fifty. Uh, I go based off market price though, and then the discount right, fifteen percent off. Okay, so I'm um, getting to this story, and I'm gonna read off of it so that we can um, make sure that we're getting the right, clear information. So it says, this type of fraud, the seller, so we're, now they're explaining how the fraud happened, how people pump up um, card prices, and they're talking about this specific seller that did this on Card Market's store, and they did this with the um, Van Gogh Pikachu. They did this with Van Gogh Pikachu. I feel like you would have to do this with promos because those aren't that readily available that someone can just come and <laughs> and they see the the price being crazy and they could just list a lot a lot uh, a lot of them right and then ruin the price ruin the the whole thing that you're trying to do <laughs> so it, they did this with the promo the van gogh promo in this type of fraud it says quote this type of fraud the seller used fake accounts to buy the cheapest cheapest listings without paying for them so that right there i don't understand <laughs> um, buy the cheapest listing buy is in quotes so meaning they're offering them um let me see oh it says which temporarily removes them from the marketplace mm, okay it says that but they never pay for it so how do you buy it without paying for it maybe they have it in their cart and the system registers it as already gone out of the system um or they have some sort of some sort of like <laughs> loophole that they can use maybe they're playing with with gift cards and right some sort of some weird way that they're figuring out to actually temporarily pay for it anyways they're not actually paying for it but they're getting it to be marked as paid in the system which temporarily removes them from the marketplace that is the key if you're temporarily removing the lower listings from the marketplace and you're the only one listing, then you can <laughs> raise the price as much as you want. All right, I'm going to keep going. This then allowed the seller to offer their own listings for whatever <laughs> whatever they wanted the cheapest price to be, right? So if you, <laughs> if you do this trick, which temporarily removes everything or you're temporarily buying out everyone else's cards, then you're the only one you can raise, um, you can put the minimum, right, to whatever you want. So then they said, um, the, uh, so the article got an inter um yeah, they got a letter that Card Market sent to the seller. And the, this is the part from the letter. It says, you bought, so the seller, they're talking about to the seller. You bought competing offers that never paid for, nor had the intention to do so. So that's what the car market letters say. You consistently aim to, prov to provide the lowest price for the specific card. So they're targeting this one card. This is car market noticing that this card is being manipulated on their site. Um, and then they're like in a total of 31 cases. So they're able to specifically point to how many cases, which is awesome of them. Um, it gives them more credibility, right? And this person needs Aerodactyls. Look at this fam. Aerodactyls, how many do we need? Three. All right. One, two, three. Find some cards. Okay, so they did this 31 times. Um, you're able to sell the Pikachu with gray fell hat. So Van Gogh Pikachu with this action. So the card market noticed that they did this 31 times, noticed that they were able to sell the Pikachu successfully by doing this 31 times. And then uh, the, the article says, the company goes on to say this behavior is anti-competitive <laughs> and is at least punishable as fraud. So that is interesting to me. This might create a precedent of um, these established market online um, buying and selling trading no buying and selling marketplace 
um, to actually do something about this. So if Card Market's doing something about this, maybe TCG, TCG Player will follow suit. But what Card Market is doing is they're these they're sending the seller a bill of twelve thirteen thousand dollars because that's what they estimated that they've profited from this scheme. That's insane, fam. From thirty one sales, they got thirteen thousand dollars. So it is clearly successful, um, or I mean, very profitable. For them to do it, that's why they would probably they were probably doing it. But thirteen thousand dollars, wow, insane! So they're asking for the thirteen thousand dollars back um, to pay for damages. Now I'm not sure what that does. <laughs> why would car market? Interesting. I'm pretty sure they're just trying to punish the seller. Um, otherwise, they'll take them to court. And they have a pretty good case. They know exactly how many times it happened, when it happened, how, and if they were able to get sales from it. This person needs three EVs. One, two, three. Perfect. Look at this, fams. Moving and cruising. Now, this is a big list. <laughs> um, I definitely just scratched the surface of this list. Ekans. Do we need Ekans? Our snake spelled backwards, Pokemon. <laughs> we don't. Okay. Well, what about Weezy? All right. So I'll, I'm going to keep going through this, finish off processing um, this, this order here. But yeah, I just wanted to come in here and make a video, talk to you guys, um, share this insight with you guys. I found this fascinating. I know that we've been seeing in TCG Player um Market, market manipulation, or at least it feels like, allegedly, right? Because no one, or unless you have the facts. So I found it fascinating, and um, I found it interesting that a, a one of these marketplaces is actually doing something about it. I would have never thought that they would, so that's good to see. All right, fams, so I'm going to leave you guys off here. Drop a like if you liked it subscribe and check out the discord it's a community driven thing so if you guys like this idea like the, di the discounts keep that going that's it for this vi this one i'll keep i'll see you guys in the next one later